Desiccation is the application of a contact herbicide or true desiccant to dry down plant material and advance harvest. Pre-harvest weed control, on the other hand, more so involves the application of a systemic herbicide like glyphosate to control weeds before harvest, but it won't dry down the crop in a timely fashion. So consult with your buyer to see if there are any limitations on what you may apply to your peas. Carefully timed pre-harvest applications will limit the amount of green or shriveled seeds in yellow peas, and in the case of pre-harvest glyphosate, will also limit the risk of any residues accumulating in the seed, which is a market access issue. Peas are ready for desiccation or pre-harvest apps when at least 80% of the field is at full maturity or R7. So visit the least mature areas of the field and take a look at pods. So in this field, the most of it is ripe and I'm going to take a look at this green area closer to this slough. Most plants in this green area are ready for desiccation. They're at full maturity or R7. Seeds in the bottom pods are ripe and they rattle within. These mid pods have changed color and have a different texture and then green pods at the top have kind of an orange peel like texture and when we split them open and apply pressure to the seeds within, they split really cleanly and they have some color change within. This is a good sign that the color change in those seeds will outpace the dry down of the desiccant. In the absolute greenest plants of this field, the pods are still quite succulent, but when we do apply pressure to those seeds, they do split evenly, indicating they are ready. They are still quite green, but this is at least less than 5% of the field at this point, maybe even under 2%. On a whole, this field is ready for any pre-harvest applications. Visiting another field, this one's not quite ready. It's at R6 or mid-maturity. So the top green pods are still quite green. We will check the seeds inside, but there's also lots of these flat pods, which we're not super worried about because those seeds are small enough, they'll shrivel up and blow out the back of the combine. But investigating these pods that do have full seeds, so we take some seeds out, we apply pressure to them and they squash rather than split. And that's indicating that it's not ready for a pre-harvest application. So if you're getting a lot of those in your field, it's good to still wait and check again in a few days. I created a new guide that you can take with you to the field and you can find that at manitobapulse.ca.